maybe soon there is something you can do about that. But tell me, are there ever melted conveyors that now churning in the back room? I think I know what they mean. It is some kind of heaven.
Ah, my memory is like something with a great many small holes. We shall be needing to perform some minor demolition work so that we might one day meet again. For this task, we shall require the use of a large, earth-eating metal monster. And that monster is thirsty for juice from the place where things are kept. By the way, you can call me Red. It's not my name, you understand, but, but I am sure you will agree. It is a name rather similar to a cardigan. Fetching when worn correctly. My mind are increasingly gaping. You cannot breach the inner sanctum of the place of storing. The entryway is blocked. So what if the squashy material between my ears is squashier than most? I may not be perfect like a hanging picture, but my words are wise and backed up by time. A pox! A pox on both your brain cells! Try as I may, you must think that I deceive you with my admittingly cunning ways. As far as my eye has seen, our rocky grave extends, and yet you cast away my hope like you would a puppy, freshly rolled in its own feces. I hope that your warped sense of morality is better company than I, because now it is all you have left. Now you should find yourself in the watery cave of conversation's best, with a tunnel about you from time to head. In this tunnel, for both our sakes, be careful, not curious. I have already spoken to you about the cat, and repeating myself is not only out of the question, but out of the window and climbing down the guttering. There are spiders in the tunnels that love to suck on the heat fluids, so do not disturb the walls, they are fragile like the china base. There should be some insect propellant in that red and white cross box in that room. In case those spiders found your flesh delicious. How does my brain flesh know your fluids are leaking? Because the red tricked you! <laughs> the spidery tunnel was far from a necessary evil. More so, it served as a well-deserved punishment. You thought my mind had been lost to the ravages of time, but poetic justice has struck with a sonnet and an eight-legged baptism of fire. With justice now served cold, I hope that we can be good friends. Now reclaim the key and go, go, you. And find a way to the mining monster.
And if you look closely, so do I. A century of days has passed since I saw this area last. The diseased ones sought to kill poor Red, but I took them on a wild poultry chase. They ended dead. They came from out the big metal door, but after all my years, I knew the caves more. Hide in the center to see them die. And the very day here beneath the solid rock sky.
you are now such good and lasting friends. I have gifted you with my love. Perhaps you could gift me with something. After all, the laws of politeness would be shattered if you were to appear in my party without a gift. Poor Red is so hungry. He could eat both the horse and the young Ridley stable hand. Sadly, pony flesh is so hard to come by in this part, and man meat is so... just so bland. If your eyes happened upon a scurrying rodent, would you deliver the crunchy feast in that way of a final meal? should not go, for, for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate than him. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays, because it is dark and a place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind, some bad things have flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn the blood into my grace. And by the way, would you turn peckish? Red is at its finest sautéed with a little engine oil. <laughs> rather uncomfortable here. How far away are you? You cannot be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act as a scientist in mixing potions, act as a renegade in wants of destruction. On the perils of the tools in which you will fashion my rescue, you may discover the place of my last meal. Be careful. The shiny solid floor of water is not as solid as have long since departed, though not I expect from whence they came. I hate ravenously of thy uh, But Red promised the feasting only began when the men became pungent, when the stench of life had gone, and only the sweet aroma of the day remained.
My brain can barely imagine the feats of action men like heroic she must be performing to save old Red. I am waiting so close now for you to blow down the walls of my earthbound prison cell and release me from this mortal coil. Are you my shiny knight? Have you really made it this far? I wait and wait and yet the pot never boils. I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. Sentenced me to yet more years in this place of eternal nightlight. But now, maybe my ill advice has ended you. Have you rung death's doorbell? Please don't leave poor Ren all alone once more. Like all the others. should leave my throat box now, but words elude me. You came, you are so pretty, but I have been bad. The other world already beckons me, so I suppose one further misdemeanor will change little. It is false pretension, and not dying life with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought, to the vast leaden doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. No, the key stays with me, in here, and so the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that waits for you, hungry behind those doors. As replacements go, you shall be admirably abnormal. But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you and the voice you knew only is red. For it is I, your companion, residing within. You see, I have waited for this day so many years. They won't let me die. They, and parts of my head, are not my own. And I cannot take my life. It is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend, but now the time for chit-chats and marshmallows by the fire has ended. And I hope that soon, uh, so shall my life. I have knocked on the death's door for so long. Please, let him invite me in for tea. <laughs> 